welcome, Gemini. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of June the 17th to the 24th, 2019. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing to them. Please click the bell button next to subscribe and it will notify you immediately when these are out on open air and published for you to view on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Gemini on the planet. But if some of it resonates, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, please click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will direct you to my website where you can see the services that I offer. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Geminis, my twins, your all over energy for this week of the June the 17th is a beautiful gift. This is the Ace of Cups. This is a beautiful, beautiful card, the Ace of Water, the Ace of Cups. This is a gift of God. This is a gift of the divine reaching out to give you something, a gift of great emotion. Some of you, it may be the gift of falling in love with someone. It may be rekindling the love for yourself as well. If some of you have been in a relationship that perhaps hasn't been the best, know that it will be the resurgence of this relationship. I do see that, you know, this will bring this relationship into a better place and it will continue to grow and go to the next level. This, for some of you, I see that you're getting the gift of spirit. Spiritual influence is coming into you. It's spiritual, it, spiritual growth is coming into you. You're looking at things differently now. You're looking at things uh, without ego, but you're being spirit driven, spirit driven now, which is a beautiful, beautiful way to look at life. I do see that you're tapping into your own intuition, your own psychic abilities, your own ability to trust your own instincts and to move forward on your path independently. For some of you, I see you're getting the gift of moving to a new home. So this, this is a gift. The Ace of Cups is a gift. It's a gift of compassion. It's on the heart level. The home is where the heart is, right? So some of you will be moving on to a new home. Some of you will be falling in love. Some of you will be rekindling an old flame or an old love or the, or the love that you've had is going to improve. Perhaps it's a relationship with yourself, as I said earlier, that you're starting to tap into your importance, what's important to you on an emotional and heart level. And you're going to allow that to, to lead you on your path towards your fulfillment, leaning into those cups, leaning into your fulfillment and filling of those cups. You've been given the wheel. Wow. Okay, Gemini, my twins, this is the Wheel of Fortune. First, you get the gift here coming from the divine, this beautiful Ace of Cups, filling your cups, fulfilling and leaning into your goals and knowing that they're going to come to fruition. And <clears throat> this is a time of positive change for some of you, Geminis. It's coming. And you know what? A situation is suddenly going to move forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's suddenly going to move forward for you in a positive direction. And you're going to think it's like fortunes on your side. Some of you have been waiting for something to come in. Perhaps a rebate. Perhaps a refund. Perhaps a settlement. Something that you feel you've worked towards and you expect to come in. Well, it looks like, you know, this is a change coming in and it's going to suddenly move forward. You want to go in a new direction. Crowning your week. You want to go in a new direction with the Eight of Water. This is the Eight of Cups. You've got the desire to move on. You want to move in different directions. You want to, it could have to do with where you're going on your job path, on your career path. You're wanting to move in a different direction. Some of you may be wanting to leave and move from where you live now. You may be wanting to go somewhere else geographically, just moving on. Some of you may be wanting to change your job and move on. You're searching for something more meaningful. And it's almost again like spiritual and emotional growth for you. But you have to stay balanced. You're not quite ready to move in that direction. You know you want to go. You're turning in that direction. But your cups are not equally divided. This is eight cups. It should be four and four. This is three and five. So stay on your course. I do see that things are going to be coming in. Because of these resources that maybe you've received with this beautiful Wheel of Fortune, you're just not sure now. You were never given this opportunity to say, gee, 
Where could I go? I now have the time, effort, and resources to do it. So stay balanced, and I'm sure you'll find the direction soon. There is a choice and a decision, uh, you know, at the end of the week here. This is the Two of Earth, better known as the Two of Pentacles. And there's an awful lot going on right now at, for some of you. You're, you're kind of going in many different directions at this time. And there is a decision that you need to make, okay? But I want you to consider this decision in a lighter way, in a more playful approach. Don't get all stressed out about it. You know, I always make fun of this. This is the, the, the joker here. Ho, oh, hum, he dum. He's juggling away. Often this has to do with money. Perhaps some of you are getting uh, offers or you're going to get, a, you know, a couple of offers coming in where you have options. And you'll have to make up your mind. But don't get all stressed out about it because this seems like a very easy decision. Uh, once you make it, you're going to feel so much better for it. You're not going to feel so stressed about it. Okay, this looks like a pretty good week, I would say, for you, Geminis. Uh, you know what? Your cups are, are filling up here. You've leaned into it. Things are coming in. The world card, the wheel of fortune, rather, came in. And basically, you're getting it. You're just not sure. You have a choice, in a, and you want to move in a new direction. And you're not quite sure exactly where it is you want to go. So, you know, don't get stressed out about it. Make that decision. Make that choice that you need to make. But don't get all stressed out about it because I, it will work out in your favor. You can't go wrong when you've got that Wheel of Fortune card. And you've got that gift, that divine gift coming in on a heart level. All these cups coming into you. Cups, you know, cups here. Amazing. Okay, let's see what we've got. We need one more card here for my Geminis. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Well, you know, there's your compass. We talked about you going in a new direction, okay? You're not quite sure where you're going to want to go. But isn't it funny how it landed right on the Wheel of Fortune? Both of these are circles, full circle, going in. You can set your compass now. You're going to have the time, effort, and resources to be able to go in any direction you want to go. You're using your wisdom. You're researching what it is you want to do prior to taking that step. Because, Gemini, you're pretty smart. You're pretty detailed. You're, you're pretty thorough, okay? You're wonderful communicators, and I do see that you're going to use your wisdom and research what it is you need to do prior to taking this step and moving in that new direction. You're getting information in the background, okay? This is the moon. This is finding out information that maybe you don't know, and you're doing that, and you're researching that. And, and no matter how tough things seem, this choice that you're going to make will work out in your favor. I do see it maybe an op op option coming in that may pertain to money or being offered here. And you're going to be able to do that. Make that choice. Make that decision. It's going to work out in your favor. And once you do, you're going to be able to see the entire sky lit up. You're going to be able to see all the planets out there, not just part of the situation. You're going to get it coming in. But there's still information in the background here that you need to think about in order to <clears throat> make this choice and decision. Okay, let's see what we have, Gemini, here for your beautiful messages from the Goddess Guidance cards. You got peace. There is no need to worry, as everything is working out beautifully. Wow, okay, that's pretty darn good for you, I would say, Gemini. And we said that in this reading, and I've said that in the other readings, too, last week. And you know what? Things are coming into to fruition for you, Gemini. So basically, <clears throat> you know, um, this is, uh, you know, this give your cares and your worries to the divine, okay? I want you to pray and meditate and engage in peace-enhancing activities, such as yoga, sea salt baths, massage, naps, music, playing, playfulness, and the like. So this is, even though appearances may seem chaotic, uh, <clears throat> assure that your higher plan is in action. This is all loving power, and it's caring and supporting you completely. Relax in the arms of the divine, okay, and breathe away all your cares and concerns and worries. Put your focus into enjoying and appreciating each blessing. Your gratitude helps you attract even more blessings in your life. Okay, Gemini, that's wonderful. Lean into your peace. Wow, new experiences and possibilities. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is nature's, beautiful nature's whispers uh, deck. I love it. So you've got new experiences and possibilities coming in. So look around you. And notice the new beginnings and the new experiences and new choices being shown to you. They will only be evident to you if you take the time to look for these subtle messages. You are the first, you are on the first steps in a new path. You are being offered a blank page. What are the first words you would like to write on it? 
Your possibilities are endless, Gemini. You are in complete control of your life. Okay? This is a brand new beginning on your journey. Live in the present and trust in your own abilities. Plant those seeds and willingly venture into new territory. Awesome. Wow. Okay. This is great. You know, it doesn't get much better than this, the Wheel of Fortune. You're going to be able to set your compass. You're using your insight and your own intuition and wisdom to finally decide the direction you want to go. You're researching in order to make this decision properly. And you're given this beautiful gift of love. Love, love, beautiful, compassion, wonderful. So, peace will come into the equation? Absolutely. And you're moving in a new direction. There's possibilities, options, and offers coming into you, Gemini. Beautiful. Well, my beautiful Geminis, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it, Geminis, and move forward towards your goals and your happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always stand and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you soon.